Hi, this is Asin. Today I would like to share the limit of 1 plus 1 over n to the power of n when n approaches infinity is e. Okay, before we start, let's just recall the binomial theorem. According to binomial theorem, 1 plus a to the power of n is equal to 1 plus n a plus n times m minus 1 over 2 factorial times a square plus n times m minus 1 times m minus 2 over 3 factorial times a cubed and so on. So from here, what we want is 1 over n. Okay, what we have is a. So we will let a be 1 over n. According to binomial theorem, this equation is valid only if a is small enough. So from here, what can we see here is we what we need is n approaches infinity. So when n approaches infinity, a is 1 over infinity. So meaning to say a approaches 0. Okay, a is small enough. So the equation is still valid. Okay, so we substitute. We have 1 plus 1 over n to the power of n is equal to 1 plus n times a. 1 over n plus n, n minus 1 over 2 factorial times 1 over n square plus n times m minus 1 m minus 2 over 3 factorial times 1 over n cube and so on. So we apply limit to both sides. So limit n approaches infinity 1 plus 1 over n to the power of n is equal to 1 plus n over n is 1. So limit of 1 is still 1 plus limit n approaches infinity. Okay, so for this part, we simplify. Then we rearrange the whole term. So we expand first. n square minus n over n square. Okay, times the remaining 1 over 2 factorial plus limit n approaches infinity. We expand this term, we have n cubed minus 3n square plus 2n over n cubed times the remaining 1 over 3 factorial n plus the so on. So we have 1 plus 1 plus, okay, as we can see, infinity square minus infinity is infinity. Then if over infinity, so we have indeterminate form. So to solve for the limit, what we can do here is we take out the highest common degree. So we have n square here. So when we take out n square left 1 minus 1 over n over n square. Okay, then the remaining term is 1 over 2 factorial plus limit n approaches infinity. Okay, the highest degree here is n cubed. So we have 1 minus 3 over n plus 2 over n square, the whole thing over n cube, the remaining 1 over 3 factorial, and so on. So we have 1 plus 1 plus, we cancel, we simplify. So 1 over n, n approaches infinity. So 1 over infinity is 0. 1 minus 0 is 1. So it means that this limit left only 1 over 2 factorial. Plus, okay, cancel each other. So 1 minus 0 plus 0 is 1. So left only 1 over 3 factorial and so on. So from here, we can rewrite 
1 over 0 factorial plus 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial and so on. As we can see here, this is actually the series expansion of E. So, meaning to say the limit is actually equal to E. Then we prove. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.